Now I'm just balancing here. Do I have my gear down? I'm going right over this crater. That might be my target right there. This is the major crater. So let's get a major crater.
So who's got, okay, that, that one's got the data. So we're gonna take this data from the front. I guess it doesn't really matter. We'll take it from the front. Um, EVA. Take it from the front one. Data. I'm going to deliver it to this capsule. It's going to be the next guy to return to Earth. So I don't store data. I'll just head. Um, I'm going to go here. I'm going to take the engineer down next. Everybody's going to get two stars. Wait a minute. We need to take the other science and put it in the science bay. We don't want to take it down to the surface again. That would be silly. If we crashed, we would lose all that science. Whoa, what are you doing? What are you doing, Bob? Be careful. for the solar panels. We don't want to destroy the solar panels. Now we can get cracking on that science. Got plenty of electrical storage. Pretty much full. Up data for now. You want to keep it topped off with as much data as possible because that affects your the rate of how much science you get per day. So we'll just keep all that data sitting in here, and when it goes down to I don't know below 700, we'll we'll fill it back up. time I'm gonna go down to the highlands get some science in the highlands but uh, I'm gonna do things a little different this time I'm gonna do it IVA so I'm gonna detach detach somewhere undock there we go draw from there Gonna do it in here. Cozy. So I'd like to. This orange color is the highlands. I'd like to do it somewhere around here. So let's get the SAS on, get the RCS on. That's rest away from the station. We're 
just going to watch it recede. Nice safe distance. The solar panels in the way. Yeah. Not the best field of view we got here. Okay. I think that's good enough. And let's see if we can't get a little view of the moon there. There we go. All right. Well, we're just point retrograde. We're going full throttle. It's got a little flight path there, and you can kind of see it shortening up. Precise, is it? Not precise at all. Fast for a little bit. Um, that's not the right button. view of it. You can tell we got some big hills because that suicide burn countdown it's jumping all over the place. So let's see. A little bit get it centered I'm going to just thrust here and this should reduce this should make me land a little somewhere one minute oh this was a work coming in I'm gonna get vertical here up in the in the Midlands. We'll be, we'll be close in either way, I think. It's hard to tell on this map. Well that one says we're pretty far. I'd say it's So we'll kind of extend the glide a little bit. So we'll get further, further afield, and I think that's enough. Kind of 
frustrating about this is that in order to see my surface speed, the big indicator up here, well, I can't see the window down there, so I can't see the detail of where I'm going to land. go. We've landed on the moon. It's a miracle. <laughs> okay. the right button that's amazing we are making progress here I don't think I even need to see that we can target the space station here there we go attitude going maybe a altitude map I think we're ready to go so I gotta get my bearings here Okay, we're pretty much we're pretty much pointed in the direction we want to go. That's convenient. All right. Good feel for where we need to be. down at the surface just to <laughs> have that little reassurance that I'm not I'm not about to crash right into the moon okay just your instruments just your instruments
So I think I'm gonna... have an orbit of about 50,000 meters, give or take. Um, space station's at 110 approximately. So we'll have an inside track. Um, I'll catch up to it. Might take a little while. Let's accelerate a little closer to our apoapsis and circular. Get this orbit a little bit more circular. Circularize. That's the word I'm looking for. Just watching my parapsis and apoapsis a little high. Let's zoom out, look to see where I'm at. Okay, that's pretty good. So, this next part I can't really do in IVA, unfortunately. Probably it will kill our relative velocity about 500 meters. And I need to go into docking mode. Okay. What the heck? Oh. 
Alright. So let's see if I can get gain a visual. What is that? And I'm in docking mode, so. Okay, there we go. We have a visual. We are closing in. I want to get the right docking port here. Is that it? Um, that's interesting. Okay. Not what I wanted. How do I get out of here? There we go. I guess I gotta say that's like that as a target again. Down vessels. Okay. This doesn't seem to be doing anything. What? what did that do? Oh, cycle reference point. So I get cycle so targeted. Oh, okay. Okay, if it's not readily apparent, I have no idea what I'm doing here. <laughs> okay, um, but I have an idea. I have an idea. Vessel. Okay, I, there's so much for that idea. Doc. Please take a reference part. Target. Data. Click all the buttons. Target management. Reference bar. Oh, okay, I see. Reference part. Clampatron, there we go. Okay. Now I still need to where'd you go? Still need to set this part. Luna Science Station. Okay. But that's not the right docking port. Target. So first I'm gonna Kill my drift. There we go. There we go. We got it. All right. Yep, that totally makes sense. Right. 
Maybe we should um get it like that. And I'm gonna cheat for a second and pretend I can turn on the lights. I just want to turn on the lights for the heck of it. Go back. See, and we're going the wrong way. It's kind of hard to dock when you're traveling away from your target. All right, we're good now. So, orange tells us we're lined up with the port. That's our rotation. Um, this little cross means we're, it's like a glide scope. It tells you when you're aligned in three-dimensional space with the, with the docking port. So if everything's here on the center, this cross and this plus, that means you're perfectly aligned with the docking port. This is your direction indicator. It's over here, meaning we're going to drift towards alignment. And once we get closer to alignment, we'll, we'll move this to the middle. This is the distance to the port. This is how fast we're traveling towards the port. And this is just the absolute distance between um, without just from port to port. Well, how do I explain that? Like if you were off to the side, it wouldn't compensate for that. This is kind of like assuming if you were lined up, this is how far your, uh, you would be from the docking port. And we're going to do this nice and slow. Because I can't really see anything. And I don't want to slam into it. We'll do some time acceleration. And maybe we'll be able to see it through the window before we actually slam into it. That would be nice. Close, I can see it now. Boom. And it didn't explode. That's a good thing. We are successfully docked. And that concludes my IVA mission. So, we need to get the science. Half the science need to go in this thing. And that reminds me, I need to transmit. I need to transmit that um, some of that science back. Anything I can get 100% yield, I'm going to transmit back. The rest needs to go in the science lab. I want to shut down these engines because nothing sucks more than just messing around with your space station all of a sudden you hit full throttle on the engines and it just takes off. Oh, is this too high? Show. Who's going to do this? We want to get... Well, let's get Bill to do it. Take these. Oh, you should be able to grab it. You're just not close enough. So 
So we're going here, I think. Down, go down. He's got his, he carries his little cordless drill wherever he goes. Okay, store, okay. Store, so I put that in the right place. We need to go back up here, get the rest of them, take it down to the science center. how the science center is going. We've accumulated seven science. Data is still pretty high. I don't really need to top it off yet. Now let's go through this. Oh wait, let's see. Let's make sure we have a line of sight. We've got a good line of sight with Earth. Always in the way. We've got good electrical charge. Let's go ahead and transmit all that we need to. Restore data. 70%. Nope, 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 nope. Yes. So there's no reason to not transmit it. Six signs. Keep. So just look at if I recovering the science, I get 22.5 science. But if I process it in my lab, I'm going to get 140 science. So yeah, that's a lot of science. It takes time, 15 days, but that's a lot of science for just this one crew report. And of course I have a copy of it in my, in my science lab. Just gonna transmit all of these. Wait till it's done. And I think that's all of it. 